Monday Night Football, we have the Raiders taking on the Lions, and I'm about to break down all of the best showdown single game plays for both DraftKings and FanDuel in this one video. So if you can do me a favor, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff, it is really appreciated. It helps us out here on the YouTube algorithm and helps keep our content free. And if you want to sign up for our NFL package, link below in the description box. Everything that we have on the site is included under one NFL package. You can build all your lineups on our site. You can simulate them. You get your ownership projections, player projections, everything that you need. And uh, I'm about to be doing a preview of what our tools are showing for today using the Sims tool in the contest generator. So I've already got lineups built out for DraftKings. Going to review them at the top. Then we'll build lineups out for FanDuel after we run through DraftKings. Now, if we look at the number one overall projected lineup that I have in here by simulated ROI, so of all the lineups that I built out for DraftKings, this one projected the best. It is Josh Jacobs in the captain spot with Brock Wright, Jameer Gibbs, Jacoby Myers, Jared Goff, and Jimmy Garoppolo rounding out the rest of the lineup. So that one had a 239.5% sim ROI, best of any lineup out there. And also I have this set as 30% payout to first because of how top-heavy the DraftKings showdown slate contests have been. And then because also some of that top heaviness, you're seeing the lineups that are expected to be duped not making it into my top 150 lineups. The lineup in here that is expected to be duped the most tonight, it has Sam Laporta at the captain spot with Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, Jared Goff, Michael Mayer, and then a Riley Patterson. So one thing we do have to check back on is, is Amon Ross St. Brown going to play or not? He's listed as questionable dealing with an illness. I assume he is going to play. But I'm, I'm not a doctor. I don't know the extent of his illness either. So uh, as of right now, we've got Amon Ross St. Brown in our projections. If something changes later on the day, our tools and data will all be impacted to reflect that. But now if I look at the exposures from the top 150 lineups that I had selected, these are the players that I'm getting to most frequently. Jared Goff, 66% of him in the flex spot. And then 16.7% in the captain spot. So all things put together, that's nearly 83%. Of my top 150 lineups of Jared Goff, clearly somebody we want to be building around tonight. Jameer Gibbs in 54% of lineups. He's benefiting from the absence of David Montgomery. Also, we saw Gibbs last week really get a full workload for the first time. Montgomery's been great from a fantasy perspective to open up the year, and Gibbs just hasn't gotten on the field a whole bunch. But last week with Montgomery out of the picture, Gibbs was finally a workhorse back and showed really big upside. So he's making into over half of our lineups here. Getting to Josh Jacobs, the most of any of the skill position players from the Raiders. Then that's followed by Sam Laporta, Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback for the Raiders. But about even with the field on Garoppolo. Let's see if we could find captain exposure to him. And did I scroll past? Oh, here it is. Yes, only 2% captain exposure to Garoppolo. And we have him 36.7% in the flex spot. So a little bit underweight to Garoppolo in the aggregate. So clearly, if you're rostering one of the quarterbacks in this game, our data shows that Goff is the quarterback to go to over Garoppolo for making a 1v1 sort of decision. If we're looking at some of the captains that we're getting to the most is Amon Ross St. Brown. So we need a check back to make sure he's going to be good to go tonight, followed by Jared Goff and then Jameer Gibbs. The lineup's really skewing heavily towards the Lions side of things. Players we are overweight to. Let's see if there's any real contrarian plays. Brock Wright in about a quarter of my lineups only project for 7% ownership. So if you're looking to save salary and be contrarian today, Brock Wright looks like a pretty good way to go. And then, yeah, almost all the players we're overweight to here coming from the Detroit side of, game, of the game. One cheap player from the Raiders, Trey Tucker. He's somebody only project for 12.7% exposure that I got nearly 20% of in my lineups. So he's somebody who makes sense to be contrarian with from the Raiders' point of the game, if we're looking who we are uh, underweight to, coming in underweight to, not really underweight to Amon Ross St. Brown because we're overweight to him in the captain spot, just underweight in the flex spot, then underweight to Daniel Carlson, underweight to Devontae Adams, underweight to Michael Mayer. So, uh, yeah, underweight to a lot of the Raiders players, whereas we're getting overweight to the Lions side of the game. So that's a breakdown of everything we're looking at from a DK perspective, and now we'll do the same for FanDuel. So I'm going to select FanDuel here, Raiders-Lions, build out 10,000 lineups, and then we'll see what the results are. And while I'm doing this, I'm also going to look to see what we have for the payout structure over on FanDuel. So FanDuel's big contest tonight has a 500 
$55,000 prize pool, $100,000 in first place. So this is actually a very flat payout structure, especially for Showdown. So when we go over here and simulate the lineups that I built for FanDuel. I'll set it to 20% to first to reflect what the field payout is. Now, here's what the impact of that is going to be with it paying out. Actually, it's it, it actually is a little bit less than 20%, but it, it's still close enough to 20% where this is what I selected there. I'd rather play uh, 20% in the Sims tool than 10% when the contest is paying out 100000 at first for the $555,000 prize pool. But... We're going to see more of those lineups that were duped over on DraftKings that didn't make it into top FanDuel lineups, or, or the, the duped lineups on DraftKings that weren't in the top 150 lineups. We're going to see some more duped lineups show up towards the top of the ROI on the FanDuel lineups just because it's so split and the field is spread out with it not being as top-heavy that you are still going to find some of those lineups to be more plus EV when there isn't as much going to first place in terms of those dupes. But the number one overall projected lineup we have here on FanDuel, actually two really raising up above everything else. So two lineups, Sim ROI, way better than everything else. Both of them have Jared Goff at the MVP spot. This one is Jameer Gibbs, Garoppolo, Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Brock Wright. This one, Devontae Adams, Jimmy Garoppolo, Amon Ross, St. Brown, and, ba and Brock Wright. So the difference here is uh, very similar players, but this one had Jameer Gibbs in it. This one had Devontae Adams. So those two lineups look really strong here on FanDuel. If we're looking at the lineups that are expected to be duped the most, yeah, you'll see like this one. If I had this set as 30% payout to first, this probably wouldn't be one of my top 150 lineups. Same for this one. But the lineup that is expected to be duped the most frequently on FanDuel, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Jared Goff, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Jacoby Myers. If we go ahead and look at exposures now. Getting to a lot more Garoppolo on FanDuel than we got to him on DK. DK, we had him a total of what? Right around 35% of lineups. Whereas on FanDuel, he's in north of 50% of lineups, and that includes 50.7% flex exposure and 8% in the captain. So uh, way more of him on FanDuel than we got on DK. Also overweight to the field on Garoppolo here. Jameer Gibbs, he is in nearly half of our lineups in the flex spot, and then also is a captain or MVP that we're getting to a little bit. Where is he? So I'm out. There it is. 5% MVP exposure to Jameer Gibbs. That actually is underweight in the MVP spot to Gibbs. If you want to get a little bit different with him, you play him in that flex spot as opposed to the MVP. He's projected to be the most popular MVP on the slate in about 20% of the field's lineups. The captain slash MVP on Fando that we're getting the most of is actually Jared Goff. He is in 42% of lineups in the MVP spot, whereas the field is playing him in 13%. So that's going to be my favorite MVP play on FanDuel tonight is Jared Goff, followed by Amon Ross St. Brown. Once again, assuming he's healthy and good to go. Amon Ross St. Brown in 23.3% of lineups is the MVP, 42% of Goff. So overall, that means two-thirds of our lineups have either Amon Ross St. Brown or Jared Goff as the MVP. Other players to look at here, uh, Devontae Adams, a little bit underweight to him, but not as dramatic as we were underweight to him on DK. Sam Laporta, about even with the field on him. We are getting overweight to the Lions as a contrarian utility play here. Lions in 24.7% uh, of lineups, project for 16.5% ownership. And now let's sort by leverage. We are underweight to Jameer Gibbs in the MVP spot. Underweight to Goff in the flex spot, but only because we're so far overweight to him in the MVP spot. And then also underweight to Jacoby Myers, Daniel Carlson, and Michael Mayer. So a lot of the same players that we're underweight to on DraftKings coming in underweight to on FanDuel as well. We're overweight to Goff in the MVP spot. Amon Ross St. Brown in the MVP spot. Brock Wright looking like another good contrarian play. Only 1.1% owned over on FanDuel. If he does anything at all, you're looking at a very different looking lineup that has a chance to be unique. And uh, win, win one of these showdown contests solo, potentially. So I like trying to get myself to his to uh, well overweight to the field on Brock Wright. 10x the field in this set of lineups. Also overweight to the Lions defense, Jimmy Garoppolo in that flex spot, and then Trey Tucker, who we're also getting to as a contrarian play over on DraftKings. He is the value slash contrarian play that stands out the most on FanDuel as well. So that's a rundown of everything for DraftKings and FanDuel. If you guys like these tools that help me make a bunch of money this year, sign up using the link below in the description box. And also before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck and enjoy the game tonight.